AP CRAM, the AP Human Geography Exam, free response question 62. Small town call center phenomena. Remember that section two consists of free response questions. There are three questions that should be formatted as short essay answers, and you have 75 minutes to complete them, so allocate your time properly. The free response section is 50% of your exam score. You're required to define and explain and apply geographic concepts and also interpret geographic data. Okay? This is a photograph of a small town customer call center in Arkansas that was recently converted into an automotive manufacturing plant. Identify seven reasons why businesses would choose to locate their call centers in small southern towns. I'll give you a moment to think, and if you're using this review for the AP Human Geography exam, be sure to write out a clear, complete, and concise answer. All right, so the first reason why a business would preferably locate their call center in the South is due to the wage structure, the low wage structure that is, you know, they don't have to pay as much as they would um, to a hourly or salaried employee in the North. The next reason is low tax structure and low tax incentives. So wherever you can save, you know, overhead operating costs and payments and taxes, a business is going to go for the um, cheaper option. Low land costs or rental costs, that's another obvious area of savings. Low building costs, um, more buildings available. So they can either rent, build new buildings or rent as um, buy established buildings at lower rates than they would in the north. There's a large labor pool from deindustrialization, and deindustrialization means like the phasing out of certain industries, let's say automotive or I don't know, um, copper processing plant, something of that nature. Okay, so a lot of people are available for employment. There's a lot of small town rural people who may um, have alternatively, alternatively been hired as um, support service staff in agribusiness. So there, those people are available also. Um, telecommunication, telecommunications infrastructure is already in place or can be easily provided, especially in today's age of fiber optics and um, Wi-Fi. You know, this type of business can easily be set up. Um, the business climate is more um, favorable for businesses to establish their call centers because of right-to-work laws, which, you know, outlaw or don't make it mandatory for workers to join unions. Certain zoning laws, you know, promote or welcome such telecommunication centers. Maybe for old veterans, there's a lot of veterans in the South who need work. So maybe that's like a vet preferable zone where they can, you know, employ reliable employees because veterans are very disciplined. So they would make really great employees. All right, so to wrap everything up, I don't mean to be long-winded, but um, to put everything together, the southern region of the U.S., again, is typically known for its agriculture, al agricultural output. Um, and in order to be hired as a customer service representative at a call center, one is not required to have a high educational standing or... Um, you know, advanced business skills. So businesses may choose to locate call centers in small towns where um, commercial building rental, again, is less expensive, okay? They also have access to this large workforce um, that 
who may have been potential farm hands or who calculated that working at a call center is more lucrative than being gainfully employed as a support service hand in agribusiness. And businesses may also opt to locate call centers in the South because there are little to no unions established due to these right-to-work laws. Okay? All right.